Good morning on this Queen Mother's holiday. I wanted to talk about what people are thinking and what you're thinking in your head as you try to do something. Now, there was this girl at my gym and uh, she knows that I box, obviously. And she wanted to learn boxing. So I said, oh, okay. Well, next time we meet, I will teach you. So the day came and I brought my pool noodles. By the way, uh, when you do mitt work in boxing, you can use mitts or you see noodles like waving around. So you see Canelo and his trainer, they use pool noodles. So I brought my pool noodles and I gave her my gloves. I said, okay, let's do it. And then she was shocked because I, yeah, I followed through with my words. Obviously, because most people don't. So she reluctantly followed me to the open space area of the gym. I said, put on the gloves. And she said, do I have to? And she was, she was shaking. She was nervous. It was like, it was like uh, jumping off a, a skyscraper for the first time. I don't know why. It was just putting on gloves. It was just put on the gloves. And she reluctantly put on the gloves. Okay, let's do it. And she couldn't throw a punch. She couldn't. She just sat there on the floor with my gloves on and she wouldn't stand up. She couldn't. I said, what's wrong? And then she looked at me and she said, everyone at the gym is looking at me. And then I looked around and I, I saw a few eyes look at our direction. Well, because obviously we're doing something that most people don't do at a gym, which is, you know, boxing. So I said to her, who cares what other people think? Just do it. And she couldn't. She was just shaking. Like I was trying to tell her to I don't know, fly an airplane for the first time or something. I don't know. And then she was just like, <laughs> She couldn't throw a punch. She couldn't stand. She couldn't even stand up. She was that nervous. She was so afraid of what other people would say, you know, about what she was doing. So our session ended really quickly. And from there on, she never boxed again. She, she never, she just went back to her old routine, her old Boring ass routine, which is doing squats, doing the machines, and live a boring life. And I can tell right away, she will live a boring life if that is her mindset. Because it doesn't just apply to boxing, it applies to life. If you don't take chances, if you keep thinking about what other people will think when you're doing something that's different or new or strange or out of the ordinary you're not gonna go far in life i'll give you a th another example i see this all the time in the gym i see people trying to learn handstands i know how to do a perfect handstand obviously so when i see other people try to do handstands i look at their routine i see them like they're thinking in their head a lot oh, 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 i'm gonna do an handstand Oh, what's everyone going to think oh, if I fall? Oh. I can see them in their head. They're thinking in their head. They're just, they're just pacing around the gym. You know, they're getting ready to do their first attempt of a handstand because you can see their arms going up in the air. You know what they're going to do. They're going to slam their hands down. I don't know why, but that's what they do, always do. So every time I see people trying to learn handstands, they do like one and then they fall. Uh, uh, and then they go with their smartphone. Uh, 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 time out. And then they do a second attempt. Uh, and they fall. Uh, they're embarrassed or something. They think everyone's laughing at them, but which they're not. And then they go home. I said, on a long enough time, and how long do you think it's going to take for you to learn to do handstands if you do two attempts at a session? Do you know how I learn handstands? 
I kept falling over and 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 over. I fell so many times. I did hundreds of attempts during every session. You could see me at a gym like in an hour just trying to do a handstand fall, handstand fall. I just kept doing it. I was just like a juggernaut. I just have to keep going, push through until I break through the wall. There is no, oh, I'll do it again tomorrow. I'll pick it up tomorrow. Or, oh, I'm scared of what everyone's going to think. Oh, I fell. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I don't care. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Who cares what sheep think is what goes through my mind. They're all sheep. They're all doing the same sheep activities. Sheep squats, sheep bench press, sheep dumbbells, sheep barbells, sheep machines. They're all doing the same sheep activities. Why do I want to be one of them? I'm over here doing my own thing. I'm doing my own thing, heavy, hitting the heavy bag. I'm doing my own thing, practicing my one-arm handstands, which I almost got, by the way. I keep falling, obviously, but I keep falling. I show it to everyone. I do a one-arm handstand. I fall. Oh, big deal. I don't care. I, I get up and I do another one and another one. I just keep going until I break something in my body. Or I, I end up saying, okay, my body's had enough. That's how I think. I don't care what anyone thinks. And this is the lesson that I'm trying to tell you in this video. Nobody cares. Do you know what people care about? Themselves. They don't care about you. They care about what they're doing, what's going on in their own lives. Okay? Yeah, they may have a few seconds to take a look at your handstand and see you fall, and maybe they can snicker and laugh at you. But you know what? Those people are chicken shits. They're the ones that wish they could do what you're doing. So who cares? Nobody cares. All right? So take this to heart. Just do it. Nobody cares. All right? So get out there and do some handstands, all right? Take care. Love you.